This is Bianchi Impulso Comp Gravel Bike and in this episode I will give you the buyer's guide for this bike and I will also tell you uh, should you just go ahead and buy this bike or should you just uh, consider it. So hello friends and welcome to another episode of Cycling Insider. Uh, before we start, if you haven't already subscribed to this channel, please do subscribe because it's gonna help in growing the channel and of course if you are already a subscriber I say thank you. So Bianchi Impulso Comp Gravel Bike. Uh, this is the 2024 model year of this bike and the main question is who is this bike for? So you see gravel bikes are for the people who spend the majority of their time on the road but from time to time you like to go a bit off-roading, nothing too demanding, some kind of you know gravel, gravel roads as the name suggests, so definitely you should consider then these kind of gravel bikes. With this uh, Bianchi Impulso Comp, this is the third level of the bike, they also have the Bianchi Impulso Pro and then the Impulso RC. But I truly believe that this Bianchi Impulso Comp with the retail price of uh, 2650 British pounds or 2950 euros is more than enough when it comes to gravel bikes. Also, when you look at the design of this bike, Bianchi always scores highly when it comes to design of the bikes. So you have two paint schemes on offer, one is this beautiful gold with a hint of black, this would definitely be you know my choice and when you look at the shaping of the carbon fiber frame and the fork and even the, the kind of these tires with the tan of all, everything is very nicely color coordinated. And of course uh, our other classical paint scheme uh, from Bianchi is of course this uh, super classical Bianchi green, Celeste green paint scheme so at least you have these two beautiful paint schemes to choose from. I would advise you like if you like a bit more classical design then definitely this Bianchi green paint scheme and if you are a bit more interested in kind of a modern paint scheme design then definitely this golden uh, paint scheme with a hint of black would be my choice. Okay now let's talk about the components on this bike and really see what do you get for your hard earned 2,900 euros or 2,650 British pounds. So let's kick off with the frame and the fork. So you see this uh, carbon fiber frame and the matching carbon fiber fork uh, from uh, Bianchi. This uh, carbon fiber frame comes with the 12 millimeter through axles front and the back, you also have the press fit bottom bracket and flat mount disc brakes, all the classical you know things from the bike you would expect today and also Bianchi's carbon fiber frames they come with the five years warranty. So all in when it comes to this carbon fiber frame and the fork, uh, no special complaints here from me, you can also see some little little hints here of aerodynamically optimized shaping and also this bike is very good uh, for kind of everyday riding because of the bit more uh, relaxed uh, geometry and it's going to be easy to spend the long days in the saddle. So all in a beautiful you know design of the carbon fiber frame and the fork, no special complaints uh, from me when it comes to these items. Now when you look at the handlebar and the stem, this is a very classical aluminum pieces for handlebar and the stem all in-house brands of Bianchi, which is perfectly fine, there's no problems here, uh, nothing is proprietary, very easy to adjust your position on the bike and also if you are thinking about the future of upgrading any of these aluminium components, it's going to be very easy to do. Uh, as they are aluminium, absolutely no complaints here, it's perfectly fine. The good thing is that when you look at the seat post, this is a carbon fiber seat post, excellent for soaking up some of the smaller road bumps and also the saddle you're gonna get is some kind of you know uh, Bianchi's uh, in-house uh, brand, I think it's the Veloman, so personal choice are the saddles and if you don't like this uh, saddle it's very easy to replace or kind of upgrade uh, in the future. 
Okay, now let's talk about the group set on this bike. And as you can see, uh, this is the mechanical Shimano GRX group set. And all the cables are routed inside the frame. So it's a very clean frame design. And luckily in this instance, the cables are running uh, below the handlebar, below the stem, then into the frame. So it's gonna be a bit easier to service if there's anything needed. So when you look at the shifters, you will get the Shimano GRX 610 series. And then the front mech and the rear mech are the Shimano GRX 800 series. Uh, no special complaints here, everything is perfectly fine. This is a 12 speed mechanical group set from Shimano, works excellent. And also you will get the Shimano's GRX crank set, uh, so double chain rings at the front. Uh, 4630 I believe are the chain rings. And also you have the Shimano GRX cassette, beautiful 1136 cassette at the back. So a lot of gear uh, range and definitely very easy to attack any steep, steep mountains. Also I have to mention here that the chain, they are using the chain from the Shimano's mountain bike world, M7100, so Shimano SLX level chain, 12 speed chain, perfectly fine. You can use any kind of, you know, Shimano 12 speed compatible chain, so it doesn't have to be from the, from the Shimano mountain bike world, you can also use from any kind of Shimano's road uh, offerings. All in Shimano GRX group set, so full group set, Definitely no cutting corners here, it's gonna work perfectly fine. And also this uh, press fit bottom bracket, classical Shimano's uh, press fit uh, bottom bracket. When you see the braking performance of this bike, this is the Shimano's hydraulic disc brakes front and the back, Shimano GRX hydraulic disc brakes, uh, uh, 160 millimeter braking rotors front and the back, which is excellent. A good uh, stopping power, good heat dissipation. And in this instance, these braking rotors are uh, a pretty basic, you know, Shimano RT70 braking rotors. This is something, for example, in the future, if you really want to upgrade, you can, for example, buy the Shimano uh, SLX, Shimano XT braking rotors from the Shimano mountain bike world, or you can even use the Shimano 105 or for example, Shimano Ultegra uh, braking rotors. It's gonna work perfectly fine. And definitely I suggest you to always keep 160 millimeter braking rotors uh, front and the back. Now let's talk about the wheel set on this bike because it's a very, very nice addition in my opinion. So here we are speaking about the Fulcrum uh, Rapid Red 900 wheel set. So this wheel set is an OEM production. So original equipment manufacturer, uh, specifically for certain manufacturers, you can't buy it on the open market. And some of the highlights of this wheel set include that it is an aluminum wheel set, so an aluminum rim. It is tubeless ready wheel set. Uh, weight is approximately 1950 grams and the rim height is 24 millimeters. Internally the rim is 22 millimeters. Again it would be nice that it's a bit uh, wider rim but it is what it is. Uh, the maximum kind of tire width you can fit on this wheel set is 45 millimeters so it should be totally fine. Also I have to mention here that the Hubs on this wheel set are the classical seal cartridge bearing hubs uh, from Fulcrum. Probably gonna work uh, perfectly fine and you are also getting the stainless steel spokes which use the, the kind of the rounded spoke profile. Again, would be nice that, that if it's a bit more aerodynamically optimized, but again, for this uh, Fulcrum Rapid Red 900 wheel set, you can't expect too much for this very classical aluminum wheel set. If you are ever thinking of upgrading your wheel set in the future, then definitely I can recommend you to have a look at the DT Swiss wheels, DT Swiss wheels, aluminum wheels, or even carbon fiber wheels. All in, perfectly fine choice here for the fulcrum wheels. And these wheels are wrapped in Pirelli uh, tires. I believe it's the uh, Pirelli Cinturato tires. Let me just double check uh, here. Yes, Pirelli Cinturato tires, gravel tires, 40 millimeters wide tires with this uh, tan sidewall, beautiful design. And this uh, 40 millimeter tires is absolutely excellent because again, huge air volume in this tire and is definitely gonna contribute to your smooth, smooth uh, uh, bike ride. So all in, this uh, Bianchi Impulso Comp with a retail price of 2,650 British pounds or 
2,950 euros, it's a very attractive offering from Bianchi. I would expect that the total bike, total package for some kind of size, you know, medium will probably be somewhere around easily, you know, 9 kilograms. You add the pedals on top of it, 9.2, 9.3 kilograms ready to ride. Again, perfectly fine for these gravel bikes. And for the retail price of about 2,950 euros, I can definitely say you should go ahead and shortlist this bike because in my opinion, it's a very good offering from Bianchi. And also the design of this uh, Bianchi Impulso is beautiful in my opinion, specifically in this uh, golden, uh, gold black uh, paint scheme combination.